Hi friends, how are you there? My name is John, I'm a PenUp manager and today we're gonna keep exploring about drawing possibilities of art flow on Samsung Galaxy Note Pro 12.2. Are you excited? Me too. So in previous video we explained about left layers panel. If you haven't seen it, check it out in our PenUp YouTube channel. And today we will talk about right tools panel. What do we have here? We've got a bunch of different tools, including brush, smudge tool, eraser, fill tool, paint color, paint tools, symmetry, andore door, and two sliders for brush size and opacity. Okay, let's start from brush and then go down the row. There are plenty of brushes in our flow, I guess over 70. Uh, and they are organized really nicely. Uh, the brushes are pen, pencil, marker, uh, paint brushes, you can see it here, airbrush, watercolor brushes, special shape brushes, uh, texture brushes, and special brushes. Each brush category has several variations and you can also adjust each variation. Brush editor is also pretty nice. You can change size, flow, opacity, softness and so on. I have to admit that different brushes have different settings to play with. So I highly recommend you to try all the brushes. For example, this brush has also angle. You cannot save customized brushes in this app, but it will remind you last settings. And if you want to go back to default settings, you are just pressing this button. So you are changing the settings. Then when you want to go back to default, you are pressing this button. Um, next one is Smudge Tool. Smudge Tool is used for smudging a part of picture to create an effect of natural blending. And then we will use Smudge Tool to make a smooth transition between two colors. So it will give us a nice soft blending effect. Um, there is a live preview, so you can even see how colors will interact with each other. You can see it here, like you can make fast transition or just small blending, you can adjust softness. I found it pretty cool that you can see it. Sometimes it helps a lot. Next one is eraser. Eraser is simple, right? It's used for erasing. And it has such properties as size. You can control size here low and softness. So you can modify it depending on what you raise. And you always can go back to defaults. The two most changed properties you will need while drawing are probably brush size and brush opacity. Making this on one click is really great. This seems obvious to do in desktop art programs, but other programs like Sketchbook hide this in menu which makes you click more. 
So I think in our flow, they did great job on this. Next one is fill. Fill is used for filling the space inside closed lines with color by one click. It works like that. You have to draw a closed line and then go to fill and click inside and it will be filled with color. If you look closely, you will see that there is some not filled surface. That is because the line have made uh, has opacity on the border. Just click on it once more and it will be filled with color too. You can also find a number of ways to change the color. Uh, for this purpose you have a color wheel. This color wheel is changing the hue and this triangle is changing saturation and value. Also you can slide the hue here and saturation and value here. Also you can find the 14 colors here. It's your palette. This palette you can make by yourself just by clicking here and dragging it to the palette. Otherwise, you can go to menu and find the predefined color palettes. And these color palettes you also can click and drag and move it to your palette. Moreover, color palette can be moved to your drawing screen, so you can comfortably use it on the go. Just click and drag it. So now you can use it everywhere. Also, you can pick the color from your drawing. For this purpose, you, can, you need to tap on the color and you will see the color picker. And now I have blue. Once again, now I have green. Now let's explore about paint tools. Here we can see all the paint tools Artflow have. All this time we were in the stroke mode, but if we will change mode to line, we can actually draw with lines. This mode is really cool for architectural drawings. If we will change to rectangle, we can draw rectangle shapes. If we will change to oval, ellipse, we can draw with ellipses. If we will change to line guide, line guide will give us a direction, so it's better to show on another brush. This guideline will give us direction, so we always will draw parallel lines. And the last paint tool is a ellipse guide. Ellipse guide also give us a guideline for drawing circles or ellipses. Symmetry is something that is really cool here. Other applications have symmetry, but in Artflow you can actually move the symmetry and rotate it. That gives really great flexibility when you are drawing. If you tap and drag on the center, you can move the symmetry line. 
if you tap and hold on the center, you will lock the symmetry line. So you can see it and draw. If you tap and hold again, you will unlock it. Then you can move the symmetry again. You can also rotate the symmetry. And if you tap on the rotation symmetry button, it will be moved 90 degrees. Now let's try to draw with symmetry. For example, let's draw some sword. In my opinion, our flow has best undo ever. In comparison with other apps, it's endless. Uh, I had a lot of situation when it helped me a lot. For example, I made this word, it takes a lot of time and I can undo till the beginning really fast. That is all for today guys and in next lesson we will explore about our flow settings. Don't forget to subscribe on our channel in YouTube and don't forget to post your drawings in Pana. See you guys!